want to touch cuffs, do it now. God bless. You want to, you want to break him in half. Shot that he was looking for right there. The right. Start moving to your left. Get that hit movement. Pacheco uncomfortable here in the early going. Oh, he's going to have to get a sense of Diego Pacheco. I love that. The right hand. You're going to stop in that jab at long distance. Right you know, usually volume's going to be on the side of Diego Pacheco. Shot to the body from Coceres a moment ago. Now look closer too. Put a more zip on those last two and now really home run. Yes, power in both hands where he can elements that he's at. Look at how a six foot foot frame like Lorraine. You said he's a good body puncher, but he doesn't always he's small. Get in on the inside. Up in Seattle, a stable mate of Cor Father Jose Benavidez. That's an interesting part. That's not only athleticism, but fight picks up. Coceres likes the dip when he comes here. Was a long range left hook. Same between Pacheco and Jose Benavidez. It's not like he's molded him into a fight at the top of the head of Marcelo Coceres. But when he throws it, it has a real impact. Nice right hand there for five seconds of this frame. Smart. You can tell that he's 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 meaning He knows what to do with an abnormal right hand coming at you. He's the Benavidez senior. He just punches, but then he's defensively responsible. Jab to the body there, that right hand looked like it was going to be a good. He's keeping that range, popping that jab. Off the back foot, the knockdown he had against Edgar Berlanga was a count. Oh, absolutely, and that's why I better like Osiris. Heavy, and he could pull it off on the trigger. He begins. Pacheco said that his overall intention in this fight. Love that popping jab. Up here in round. Ahead of the game, very... The, the, the grittiness from Coceres over the last 20 seconds starting to close the range a little bit here in round three. Nice dream Nur Sultanov and really dragged him into a very difficult fight. 68, very cognizant, Chris Man. We had a conversation prior to this. How damaging shots like that could be. It's more difficult to do that again. Pacheco cannot ease up with a sharp power coming from Daryl Pacheco. And he's also showing some pretty good patience, Sergio, because he knows that in the shoulders, you're keeping that. And right, and the reason he's going downstairs like that and picking him downstairs to the body because he's trying to set up that overhand right. There's more jabs to the chest and the body. In round three, but Pacheco was there. Anything. See right, Pacheco. He heard the referee, courtesy of an accidental head. But Pacheco and Marcelo Cosera in front of Cosera too much, too long. He's in the entire ring. Bad aggression and punch any. Pacheco. Which, every note to your point, Sergio. For that shot in camp. Begins our 12 round back to what he knows is going to work with his focus, is being alert to Chris. Watch it. And we're talking about the preparation like this. Then Juan Gallegos was all that. pressure. I like the Pacheco and then mix it up. When Coceres wanted to check him for Coceres, it's a. Very smart. He's lifting up their arms. Very hard to land a clean shot on him. YouTube theater, maybe the best shot of the fight from Coceres. This is a good round for Marcelo Coceres. You know, that, that smart. There it is again. Left hook again, the third of the... The referee Ray Corona for catching that head, but I'm telling you. Good left hook there from... Deco throwing more power punches now, but he's got to get back to throwing that jab. It's kind of trouble, and Coceres is doing it again, that left hook. Punching where the head's gonna end up, not right. where it's at. Oh, Tank, you can see that he has white shoulders. Coceres and hides behind the white shoulder. Pacheco. There it is again, the Pacheco. Good view. Five. With the big hook. I can mention. Last round was Coceres' best round. But... You know, just to underscore how quick is against the wall. I don't know if Pacheco's back. But I think, uh, you know, he's gonna pick up. Right now, he's there. He's... Pacheco wants orders. Big left. He's doing. And don't forget to faint. Man, Pacheco, the young man. Last nine fights, but four of those have come against undefeated. But ain't time Coceres is landing. Coceres looking for that big left hook again. Only find a shoulder. I, uh, you know, I, I, I told him to work that jab a little bit more. Like he's doing right All he could ask for was up in the championship fight. Knocked down Edgar Berlanga. Big shot there. Single big hook. Thanks for saying. So as well. Maybe his best left hook of the fight. I, I think they broke this fighter like Rosera, so it's bound to happen. You took it well, now get back to the strap. Do you think there's a little bit more to it than that? Oh, there's definitely more to it. And you can see Coceres has heavy hands. 
And really, I mean, the big shot. Yeah, the jab's easily been Pacheco's most no, no, effective stop, weapon. Stop, stop. Well, the official ruled it unintended. By doubling up on one side, you're breaking the monotony, so you're just not throwing that. Jose Benavidez Sr. said that the cause of that was Pacheco Saris that was more noticeable there. Now, that comfort, that ease that we saw from him in the opening four rounds, that is out the window. He came in with a strategy and a game plan. I would love to see Coceros double up on that left hook, and he just didn't see from Coceros more. Digging down to the gut, trying to break the taller fighter in half, that's going to open up the left. What happens when you're landing with, with hard... At this point, 67-66, Diego punches. Pacheco has felt him, and you could tell by the bottom. But go back to the jab. You already got your respect. He punches in. Now go back to the jab. Stick to the... Round eight begins. Veteran of Marcelo Coceres. And I love Coceres not coming forward anymore. Those combinations of Pacheco. And Pacheco continuing to back Coceres up. Now starting to open up. This is a, a veteran in Marcelo Coceres. Over the top there for Pacheco. And you can see Coceres' face on his neck. Getting respect. They tried the Diego Pacheco over the last couple of rounds. Chris Mannix, how do you have this one scored so far? Well, you're right, Sergio. I think Pacheco knows what he was doing in the first four rounds. That can't be enough. He needs more of this as Pacheco having to work on the inside. This is in his punches right now. Big right hand again for Pacheco. What? Took a lot of big shots by a big puncher in Pacheco. And for Pacheco again a moment ago. And Pacheco becoming emboldened by... Because I was worried about that. No, I just think it's... Then you heard Jose Benavidez Sr. Inside on the right side, and Pacheco is actually landing right hands. Chopping right hands. Good body. A lot of... To the body, if we want... Coceres. We wondered how he would bounce back. Yeah, Pacheco, though, responded with a good right hand over the top. Let's see, just like that. Don't, no, not only... Uh, are you, uh, Pacheco just... Grabbed. Nice right hand there from Pacheco. But that's going to open up more headshots. Or has to be careful. Got hit with a chopping right hand. Yeah, I mean, he's losing a little bit of focus. Pacheco, big left hook yeah. right there. Excellent shot. You need to start dipping to your left. Coceres is catching on to double, tripling up the jab. Breaking that distance and ripping the body. Coceres has heavy hands, and if they're coming... Keep your eyes on the man trying to take your head off right now. Nice uppercut for Pacheco, and that right 